a tourist hotspot along the Great Ocean Road, harbouring an eyesore, but making strides to become its own destination. I think uh, some of the people in Anglesey think that it is going to be uh, something they can go water skiing on and, and fish in and, and swim in, uh, but honestly, uh, it's not going to happen. Alcoa's Anglesey coal mine and power station shut down in 2016. It plans to fill the pit with 18 gigalitres of water within the next 10 years. UK company The Eden Project has proposed to take over the mine site to create a world-class ecotourism attraction, but has paused development for now. I'm not sure that it'll be uh, ever an ecotourism attraction because the lake is uh, 3.6 pH, a very acidic lake at the moment. Alcoa has reapplied for a groundwater licence to fill the mine through Southern Rural Water after being rejected two years ago due to insufficient environmental assessments. Nearby, the Anglesey River's fish population is recovering after pH levels dropped in 2022, becoming consistently too acidic for wildlife. Alcoa says the changing water quality is natural but some experts link prolonged acidification of the river to Alcoa's groundwater extraction over 50 years of operation. I do not think that the further production of the groundwater is uh, beneficial to the environment or the local community. We've appointed an independent panel of experts who will help us with that to make sure we've got all the science ready to go. Once we've got that process, uh, we'll then put it out for public comment. It's an issue across the state as Victoria's three remaining power stations in the La Trobe Valley are set to close by 2047. Onji operates the Hazelwood coal mine and is proposing a lake bigger than Sydney Harbour. It's now preparing an environmental effects statement with public consultation planned for mid next year. We don't think it's robust enough, so um, we've actually contacted the uh, federal government, so we, we need to make sure there's some greater assessment and oversight here. Research has shown non-operational coal mines harm the environment and people's health, emitting large quantities of greenhouse gases. Across Australia, pit lakes are rare, with most retired coal mines being filled and revegetated. The ideal goal for a rehabilitated mine site is that it approximates the ecosystem that existed before mining took place. In this case, because they're creating a pit lake, this is a new ecosystem, a landform that in many areas might not support life. It's a clean slate for Victoria's dirtiest industry. Natasha Shapova, ABC News.